bro. So look, we're finna be doing a reaction video today, bro. You know how I be, bro. You know I be going in and out, but you know I still come to the checkpoint save area, bro, which is YouTube, bro. You already know how I'm coming, bro. So, shit, I was actually on YouTube, right, scrolling, and I saw Jubilee posted some new videos. So, why the fuck not? So, today's video we're going to be watching is called Six Lesbians Versus One Fake Odd Man Out. So, I'm finna re be reacting to the video. Y'all finna like. Y'all finna comment the video. Let me know what you think. Drop down in the comments down below what type of videos you want me to react to next. And also subscribe to the Only Trail family, bro. You already know how we coming, but without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. I really am a lesbian. Like, I don't really know what you guys want me to say. Like, I like to kiss girls. I don't know. <laughs> We brought together seven lesbians. I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. I am a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. I am a lesbian. I am a lesbian. I am a lesbian. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is Odd Men Out. to listen to my gut, listen to my gaydar, listen to my intuition. I don't know, I'm like a little nervous about how personal and raunchy the questions might get. I am curious what everybody's sign is, which I think is a pretty lesbian question to have. I wanna know their coming out story. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it sad? Is it funny? Is it crazy? Hi everyone. Hi. Okay, who likes wieners? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't even like hot dogs. I don't like none of it. Is everyone single, taken? Single. Single. I have a partner. Taken, same. Yes, I am taken. When did you guys realize your attraction to women and how did you feel about it? I didn't even answer the last question. I was like, ask it and don't answer it. That's because when you're a lesbian, you're just always in a relationship, but also never in a relationship at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. true. I knew at 16, my mom like saw my text between me and my girlfriend at the time. So I like forcibly came out of the closet. I also came out, well, I knew around 16. Me too, 16. I'm sure like a lot of us have come out multiple times. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Times, yeah. Or, like a thousand times. It feels times. like you come out every day, honestly. <laughs> Coming out is a lifelong process. I came out like six months ago uh, when I was 19. Oh. I like read the essay compulsory heterosexuality and went, oh my God. Well, welcome. I came out as bi when I was 15 and then to myself when I was around 17. Yeah, and then I came out to my whole family two years ago, exactly. So I basically realized it when I was a junior in high school, but I also thought I was bisexual because I never really questioned my attraction to men. And also because I'm Indian, um, which is like heavily stigmatized mm -hmm. in my community that both like, yeah. I guess kind of kept me in the closet for a long time and I actually just came out to my parents like two weeks ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that compulsive heterosexuality got brought up in round one. It's such an important topic to talk about. I don't know. I'm the most suspicious of myself. Like, is my gaydar broken? It kind of did look like and Adita was reading off of something she wrote out, but it could be just because she's nervous. I'm gonna have to vote for Rachel. It's just a hunch. I think I'm gonna vote, vote out Madeline. I am gonna vote for Rachel just because she said only one really big thing. I'm probably gonna vote out Olive. And Adita had the questions and like had her answer like almost memorized. I'm sorry, Olive. The votes are in for round one, and we have a three-way tie between <laughs> Rachel, Olive, and Anandita. Each person will get 15 seconds to state their case. Rachel, we'll start with you. Okay, so I came out 12 years ago now when I was 16 because I started dating my first girlfriend. The only gay people at my high school were me, my girlfriend, and her ex-girlfriend, which I came to learn was a very lesbian situation to have as I got older. So I started dating my girlfriend two years ago. We're about to move in together, hopefully in the next few months. In my free time, I volunteer for the Trevor Project. I'm like a huge advocate for LGBT rights and everything. I know I didn't talk that much in the first round. I know that's 
that's why y'all voted for me. <laughs> I did really hardcore struggle with being a femme presenting person because I do love femininity. I love being a feminine woman, but I also struggled with compulsory heterosexuality so heavily that I kept it guarded for myself for years. And it's especially hard because as an Indian woman, I've been conditioned my whole life to be married to a man and have kids. So I think I'm gonna vote for Rachel. I think I'm gonna go for Anandita. I don't know, I still have a weird feeling about Anandita. I think I'm going to vote for Rachel again. We have counted all the votes, and there is still a tie between oh Rachel and Anandita. Each of you will get 10 seconds to state your case. Okay, well clearly I think you can be a very feminine presenting woman and also be lesbian at the same time, which I think I've also dealt a lot with yeah. in the lesbian community from masculine presenting lesbians that I Masters in sexuality studies. I study lesbian moms. I'm a queer um, cultural competency educator. This is all my like queer collection books. I can pull out my publications for you. I. This is impossible. <laughs> Rachel's story about her girlfriend in high school is really sticking to me. So I think I'm gonna go with Anandita again. I'm gonna vote for Rachel again. But if it's Anandita, I'm gonna be mad. Like Anandita kind of just said the same thing again. Like she didn't bring up anything new. I'm glad I'm safe. I'm sorry, Rachel. Just because you studied it doesn't mean that you are one and you could just know the right things to say. So I'm voting for Rachel again. The votes are in and the person eliminated in round one is Rachel. Uh, Rachel! Honestly, what's more disappointing is that it came down to the two most feminine people on the call. That was really, really, really crazy. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to ask the first question because I okay, didn't talk that much in the last one. <laughs> and I'm not getting voted out. What's your favorite lesbian movie? Not my favorite one, but did anyone watch Happiest Season? Yo! <laughs> I was going to say Happiest Season also because, okay, a little name drop. I'm in a band and Ooh. our song is in the movie. Ooh. It's in the movie? Ooh, yes. Yes. He's famous. Ooh, yeah, I wish I was famous. <laughs> uh, but anyway, <laughs> first of all, just like watching a queer holiday movie, Chef's Kiss. That's why when I was watching Haunting of Bly Manor and I was like, a femme lesbian? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. my God, she dies. Oh, always. Spoiler. I kind of have a specific question. What are some of the negative experiences that you've had with other lesbians within the community? Oh, you're getting deep, deep, deep. Well, right. I'm trying to play the game. Kind of coming on a little strong with the questions. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I've had a ton of negative experiences with men as well who don't believe me, which totally sucks right. having men turn lesbianism into to a performative act for them. Yep, they're definitely like, oh, you're too cute to be a lesbian. Like, what right. does that even mean? I oh, I, I, I can I turn that. you straight, yeah. you can't. That's why I'm here. Did <laughs> anyone have any negative experiences? Just like overall, like anything scary that happened to you? Like I could start off. I had a beer bottle thrown at me. Jesus, yeah, that sounds oh, like something yeah, somebody would scary. do. I post a lot on TikTok, lesbian TikTok. I mean, I'm coming out of my car to go into my house and a bunch of teenage boys are walking by me and I'm sitting there and I'm like, Oh no, and then they just start screaming my name, and I'm like, oh. And then they start screaming, you effing Ew. And I'm like, wow. I haven't had like a ton of it because I came out like six months ago and like Corona's a thing so I haven't gone anywhere in the right. last six months <laughs> and like did not look like this a year ago like it was very much a yeah. quarantine like gender performativity right. no longer a thing so I look like this yeah. now Have you read the yeah. lesbian master doc? I have, yeah <laughs> Have you guys all read it? I knew it was a lesbian I didn't need to read a doc <laughs> Yeah It's basically like a checklist like do you do X? Do you do X? Yeah, yeah I can yeah. tell you I do everything I don't have to read it I do everything Oh that was so scary I feel like I didn't get to talk till the end because I didn't want to interrupt anyone. Isabel's music was in Happiest Season and the director is a lesbian. So it makes sense that they would look for other lesbian artists. I still have that weird feeling about Anandita though. Kind of giving me a Molly vibe. Anandita, she just snapped being like, just because I'm femme doesn't mean I'm a lesbian. And I'm like, I'm femme. I don't think that's what everyone was voting her out for. She's a baby lesbian, but I'm kind of suspicious of Mel. Olive? I am going to go for Desire. I fully trust Isabel and Madeline and they're Canadians, they wouldn't lie to me. So I think I'm gonna have to vote Desire. And we have another tie between Desire another and tie. Anandita. Each person will have 15 what? seconds to state their case. Okay, well, I don't know what else I can say.
here to convince you guys. Look at my fingernails. I knew she was gonna do that. I'm just a feminine lesbian. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I don't look like what you think a lesbian should look like, but I'm, I just don't know what it, <laughs> Okay, so clearly she pointed out her nails. I can't point out my nails because my nails are long, but long nails don't mean anything. You just gotta take your time. Just, I really am a lesbian. Like, I don't really know what you guys want me to say. Like, I, I live with my significant other right now. My partner is non-binary. Um, I, I like to kiss girls. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say because I can't say nothing X-rated. Why do we keep voting for an MD I'm gonna vote for Desire. I have weird feelings about Anandita. But I think I'm gonna have to stick with Anandita. I sent in my Anandita vote. We have counted all the votes, and the person eliminated this round is... Anandita. Yes! Oh, I told you! Not super happy about that, but I get it, you know. Mad at all of you. <laughs> Desire, I love you. I don't think it was Anandita though. It's not me. I know, but <laughs> somebody was voting for her over and over again, so yeah. I'm I'm a little questionable. I kept switching because like your answers were really good. Yeah, so did I. This is impossible. I'm gonna Let's, ask you a question. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. What was the hardest part about coming out? Yeah, so it was like 90s, early 2000s for me. It was. Yeah no representation uh, in TV, yeah, no. movies, nothing. I never saw myself anywhere. I think the hardest part was like coming out to myself and just like being terrified. Yeah. Like so scared, feeling so alone, so isolated. It was like, how the hell am I gonna move forward now? I feel very lucky that I grew up in a time where like, it's not, it's not perfect by any means, but yeah. definitely in comparison yeah. to, to, you know, decades before, it's, I have a lot to work with. And I knew that I was queer uh, within high school around that time, but I never felt comfortable with a label. Mm -hmm. Then I went to university. I met a lot of really amazing queer people. I was like president of my residence's pride collective. And then I came, world shut down. I came home and I was like me in my, on my own in my room was forced to examine what queerness meant to me and that's when I was like okay I feel confident calling myself a lesbian so it's been a very new-ish journey but in the last year there has been some really good representation out there that I've been fortunate enough to be like yes we love to see it. My coming out in general was super super bad because I got caught doing something that I shouldn't mm, mm. and then once I graduated college I started second guessing myself like is this really right you know religious things so then my hair started falling out. So that was really like a wake up call. And then once I accepted myself and my mom was like, girl, shut up, I love you. I was like, oh, then my hair started growing back. So now yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm Latina and I was raised Catholic. And my mom, like she was raised in the way of like, I need to get married to a man and have children. And that was her life. Like there was nothing else. So I knew to, like, coming out to her was the thing. There was a whole other thing when I came out as non-binary. Like that was a whole like, well now I'm letting you down even more. Like I'm not even a girl. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, she met my partner now, which is like Aww, crazy to think <laughs> of like that yeah, exactly. happening. Yeah. Like when my mom yeah. met my first girlfriend, I was just like, oh my God, how's this gonna go? And then yeah, like, okay. totally. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> Hearing everyone's stories is really nice because there's a lot that even if I didn't have the exact same experience, I can identify with it a lot because I have those same feelings. I think I'm gonna vote for Mel again. I'm gonna have to vote for Madeline. I think I'm gonna go for Desire. I have to choose Mel. Simply to avoid a tiebreaker, I'm gonna vote for Desire again. But if I love her so much, why am I voting for her? Should I switch to Mel? I'm gonna switch to Mel. We have counted all the votes and the person eliminated this round is... Mel. Oh, oh my no. god. This is really sad. This means the Canadians betrayed me. Do you want to continue the game? Give me a thumbs up if you want to go to round four. Give me a thumbs down if you think you caught the mole and want to end the game now. Oh, I don't know. Three, two, one. Majority has hey. voted and we will end the game okay. now. If the color turns green, you all win. If it's red, the mole is still in the game and you lost. I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me it was a good time. In three, two, one. No! 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 Desire, I swear. It's not me. I promise. It's not me. No! Oh my god, now we're turning on each other. I don't like this. The game is over and the lesbians have lost. 
That means that the straight woman will be receiving a cash prize. And we're also going to be gifting her the Akin to Experience, where she'll get to pick her favorite basics from our new interactive apparel brand. Will the mole please raise your hand in three, two, one. I'm so sorry. I wow. believe in you. Did not see that coming. Me too. Not see that. It is true. I'm in a band. We are called Cave Boy. My band members are women, and they are queer, and they are my best friends. And I am an ally, and I love them to death. And they have taught me so much about their identity. And I'm so sorry. Can we all be friends? <laughs> right off the bat, I was like, oh, I trust her. To my camera, I'm like, I trust her. Now I look like a dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gaydar is not a thing. People can identify any way and also look any way. Being out, being proud in who I was allowed me to continue to pursue a life of authenticity. I love being a lesbian. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today's episode of Jubilee. Drop down in the comments down below what you thought. And also make sure you like and subscribe to the Only Trill family, bro. You already know what's going on, bro. Peace out.